G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview of the latest release of Linux Mint 18.1, the KDE Desktop Environment Edition. So essentially we have the Linux Mint base here, uh, a well-known spin-off of Ubuntu of course, and in this release it uses the KDE Plasma Desktop Environment, which is one of the more well-known desktop environments, known to be more fully featured, uh, more graphically intensive, and thus also more resource heavy as well. Now, as we can see, it's uh, running up here nice and uh, smoothly. I am actually using it on uh, a virtual machine, but uh, only using one core, but still seems to go okay in terms of, uh, yeah, just responsiveness there, which is nice to see. Now, one thing I will mention to you is, uh, of course, although it is Linux Mint, uh, with the KDE desktop environment, uh, You'll find that uh, there's a lot of KDE apps here, so uh, it does use a different uh, backend framework. So if we were to go into, say, multimedia, uh, we'll we'll find applications that start with a K, like K3B here, this disk burning utility, which is actually quite a nice one. Um, now moving on, in terms of the window manager that's used, as we can see, we've got the Dolphin window manager, something very specific to the KDE Plasma desktop environment. Nice and fully featured, uh, quite graphically, uh, yeah, nice to look at that kind of thing as well. Now, moving in a little bit further, let's uh, actually check the kernel version. Now, Linux Mint doesn't always have the latest kernel versions, but let's see anyway. So it's using 4.4, which isn't the latest at the moment. We're at 4.10, so it's quite a ways away. But uh, Linux Mint does tend to uh, sort of go towards a more of a stable environment as opposed to a more cutting edge uh, Linux kernel but uh, you've always got the option still in the update menu settings to to actually update to the latest uh, kernel if you wish as well. Uh, let's have a look at the system monitor which I've pulled up a terminal version before I haven't really got much loaded up here as you can see, just a few windows, but it's already using uh, three quarters of the way to a gig, so 750 meg or so there, which is a fair bit considering nothing much is open. So of course, as mentioned at the uh, beginning, it's uh, fairly resource heavy in comparison to other Linux uh, Mint desktop environment versions. Uh, this uh, KDE version, it does come in 32 and 64 bit uh, varieties, which is nice and easy. And all in all, yeah, fairly solid graphical intensive for the most part we can put widgets we can put all sorts of things on here so it's uh, some people do tend to like it a bit more than the the stock standard cinnamon uh, release of Linux Mint as well so guys just a pretty quick overview of uh, the KDE version of uh, Linux Mint 18.1 cheers guys hope you've enjoyed